Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be taking you through a full lower body workout. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. As you can see, this is a home gym that I've made inside my apartment. Uh, especially during this coronavirus quarantine period where I don't have access to a gym. I've been using this place a lot. It's minimal equipment. We've got a bar, a bench, a medicine ball, exercise ball, and some weights, and that's it. Uh, but all the exercises that I'm going to show you today can be done with body weight. You will need a bar though, and a chair, but that is it. The heaviest I'm going to be lifting today is 20 kilos, but the majority of it is going to be light dumbbells and body weight. Now this is a workout I've been doing quite a lot during this coronavirus time in order to keep fit and stay strong in my legs. So yeah, let's get started. To begin with, we've just got some glute activation. So it's not a necessity, but I highly recommend all you guys out there who are doing any type of lower body strength session to activate your glutes, get them nice and fired up before starting your main movements. Uh, if you guys have a resistant band, you can copy and follow along with the same exercises I'm doing. If not, you can do any type of exercise you want to get the glutes nice and fired up just before we get into our main work for the day. First exercise is a Bulgarian split squat. So we're going to be doing three sets on each leg, 12 reps each. I'm carrying a 20 kilo plate here, but if you guys don't have any weight, you can completely do this exercise with just your body weight and it's totally fine. Change, but not us. And we just chillin', kicking it, kissed by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. Even if I lost all my money, the zero runs deep, honey. And I don't need to speak a single word. Second exercise is a Copenhagen groin hold. So we're gonna be doing two sets, holding for 30 seconds on each leg. So you're gonna hold for 30 seconds on your right leg, then 30 seconds on your left leg, and that's one set. So repeating that twice. However, at the end of the 30 second holds, on the first set, what we're gonna be doing, you'll see in a second on the video here, but you're gonna be lifting your lower leg up to the bench and back down 10 times. Groin strength is crucial for football players, especially when it comes to injury prevention. And it's something that I never really trained until I kind of got into the professional side of the game. So whatever age you are, I highly recommend you guys to start doing this exercise and you'll reap the rewards down in the future. Even if I lost my money, the zero runs deep, honey. And I don't need to speak a single word. Second set now and there's going to be a difference in the variation of the exercise after holding the Copenhagen groin hold for 30 seconds. In the first set you lifted your lower leg up to the bench 10 times. Now what you're going to be doing is using that same leg but driving your knee into the opposite arm's elbow like you see in the footage now. So you're going to be doing that 10 times as well.
There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits you can break me Here we have a single leg hamstring curl So we're going to be going 12 reps on each leg for 3 sets and yeah, it's a really good one to get the hammies fired up. You get a nice burn in there, so if it's your first time doing it, you'll probably get quite a lot of muscle soreness the following day. Just make sure you keep your core nice and engaged, and if you guys don't have an exercise ball, you can just do this on the floor using a towel underneath your feet. Next exercise is a plate extended squat, single leg. So I've got a 10 kilo plate here, but if you guys don't have any weight, you can do this body weight. You can use a drink bottle, pretty much anything. Just make sure your arms are extended in front of you. You're gonna be doing five each leg for four sets. Fifth exercise is a sprinter step up. Uh, I'm holding a 10 kilo plate here, but like I always say, if you guys don't have any weight, you can use a drink bottle, anything, you can do this body weight. The focus is really just to drive your knee up as fast as possible using the glute of your standing leg. So my right foot in this instant. Really using that right glute to drive yourself up. And then yeah, we're doing this for 10 reps on each leg for two sets each. And I've been counting days to get away to see you again, see you again. Been fighting ways to get away to see you again, see you again. Following that, we're just going to be doing the same exercise, but this time with no weight. So it's a sprinter step up, just with your body weight, and it should feel a whole lot easier coming off using a 10 kilo plate. So doing the same thing, 10 reps on each side for two sets each. Really focused on speed here. Like I said, using that standing leg glute, just really pushing yourself, driving off the floor. Seventh exercise, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the name of this exercise is, so we're just gonna call it walking on toes. So I've got a 20 kilo plate here, got my arms fully extended, just walking on my toes, really focused on loading the calf muscles. So you're gonna walk up five meters, back five meters for three sets. Make sure you're changing the ways and directions that you're turning when doing this. And yeah, it's a really good one just to get the calves nice and fired up. Now I want to burn all the bridges between us I can't focus I can't focus So last exercise with the legs is an arabesque into a lunge step. So we've got 8 reps on each side for 3 sets. Here I'm just carrying 4 kilo dumbbells in either hand. And after completing the arabesque, with your opposite leg, you're gonna drive forwards into a kind of lunge step onto the bench, generating all your power and force from your standing leg hamstring. So you're really gonna be feeling it in the hammies here, and this is a great exercise to kind of strengthen and, and work on the speed of your hamstring. And you may have some history, but we don't have to repeat it.
So that's it for the legs. These are just a few bonus exercises of the core and upper body. There's three of them. The first one is a basket hang. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna pretty much hang off a bar, extend your legs fully, keeping your core really engaged and hold for 30 seconds, repeating for three sets. If this is the first time you're doing this type of workout, I'll just do the eight leg exercises so you can pretty much stop watching this video now but for those of you guys who really want to make the most out of your training, this is a really good one for the core and like I said you're going to be holding for 30 seconds for three sets. If you struggle you can even start with lower so you can hold for 15 seconds and so on. Second bonus exercise is another core exercise. It's just rollouts so we're going to be doing 12 reps of three sets but of the 12 reps, you're going to do four straight on, four to the left, and then final four to the right side for a total of 12, repeating for three sets. Make sure you keep your core nice and engaged, super tight throughout this. Yeah, really good core exercise. Last bonus exercise is an upper body exercise. It's a wide grip chin up. Here I've got a 10 kilo plate strapped around me, and I'm just going to be doing three sets to the max. So this was my last set here. I think I did seven. So first set I did around 10, second set eight, last set seven. So I'm still working on this. Uh, this is one where the more work you put in, the more strong you're gonna be. So yeah, if you do this consistently, you'll get very strong. It's a really good upper body exercise for the back. That's it for the session today. Uh, it took me around 45 minutes to complete. I think we're gonna start training in small groups with the team soon. So. We'll slowly start to be able to go back to the clubhouse and then I'll be able to start to show you guys some gym stuff within the actual club where I have access to all the equipment. So that shouldn't be too far away. But in the meantime, give this one a go. Let me know how you guys find that. I'm always interested to hear everyone's feedback down in the comments below. Also let me know what other videos you guys are interested in. And yeah, thanks as always for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.